perfect. Hi guys, I'm Dave and this is 44 Golf. It's the end of November, so that means that it's a November update. In this month's video, I'm going to be taking you through my redesign of my putting green into a plane board. A little trip I've got coming up as well. And then lastly, how a golf ball can make you more flexible and improve your scores. Real Cinderella story, this young YouTuber, not so young YouTuber, struggling with subscribers. He now has this shot. He's got this shot to win the Masters. Real Cinderella story. Tears in his eyes. He's got about 150 metres. Got a seven iron. Takes a shot. It's up. It's away. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Dave and this is 44 Golf. Today I'm going to go through the operation of the plane board. You might remember a few months back, back in about April actually, I used this pallet, an old pallet, just to create a, an actual little putting green. But to be fair, I've never used the thing. It just sort of sat over there against the wall, uh, looking lonely and decided to try and repurpose it into something else. So I have made it into this plane board. Now, what is a plane board? I hear you asking, hopefully. Plane board, basically the idea, you're gonna take your, your stance, you're gonna set this up at an angle that matches the club you're using. So I've got a seven iron here. And all we're gonna do is simulate the club moving up on a plane, there's a straight line back to the ball. So if I had a bit more material and a bit more time, I've had something to come up here as well. But hopefully that's enough just to get it starting up there and carrying on online. So the idea with this, as I said, we're just trying to get that into that good position. I call that P1, that position there, and then back through the ball and through there. So I'm only able to do half swings on this at the moment. But it is quite a good way to be going through block practice without even hitting a ball, which is great, because I don't always get the opportunity to get down to the driving range as much as I'd like. Another little tip I've been working on in lessons, just about keeping this arm a little bit more connected, just keeping this this hat under there and then all I'm going to do is get back to that position turning through the ball keeping this connected and ensuring that, that cap stays under there as well so just a few swings like that up to that point through the ball like so so if all this talk of using a plane board has got you plane board we're going to have a little chat about me boarding the plane. So, as I mentioned just then, the boarding the plane is all about the fact that I am heading back to da, 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 Dubai in the new year. So, for those of you who didn't see the videos from earlier in the year, um, I had a trip where I played four courses up in Dubai in February, I had an absolute ball, um, some world class golf courses I played. One that was just uh, the uh, Earth course um, that was just held the DP World Tour last weekend as well. So really excited about getting back there. I don't know if I'm going to get on any of those courses. In fact, not sure about any of the courses that are going to be playing just yet. But I do know for sure that we will be going to the Dubai Desert Classic. So at the very least, you're going to get a glimpse from uh, around the course at that tournament. And I really can't wait to, to get around that. It's going to be awesome. Bryson DeChambeau is going to be there for sure. Tommy Fleetwood as well. Can't wait to see it, both of those guys in action and hoping there'll be some other big names that uh, really turn up for the tournament as well, as well as getting out to some of the other courses. So should be plenty of opportunities for some night golf. Looking forward to getting out and playing some of that again because um, that was really good fun. When I played the Faldo, go back, put the video link for, for that and all of those um, just up here somewhere. But yeah, that was such great fun. Loved getting out there. Cannot wait to get back to Dubai again. So, big smile. Really looking forward to getting out of there again. Okay, so lastly, as promised at the start of the video, I wanted to explain to you how a golf ball is gonna make you more flexible and improve your golf. So, without further ado, I'll send you over to me about a week ago. He's gonna explain how that's gonna happen. Hi guys, wow. Okay, uh, so just editing this up and then I've realized that I actually 
forgot slash hadn't quite confirmed it so didn't want to talk about it but have now confirmed that I'm going to be playing in another charity event as well. In the last update video that I did, I talked about a charity event that I'm doing on the 13th of December, um, which is for Winnie's Golf Day. But now I'm also taking part uh, with the organiser of that event as well, Dale. Me and him are doing the longest day golf challenge. So this is a Cancer Council initiative. I'll try saying that four times fast which basically challenges you to complete 72 holes of golf in a single day. So Sun City have very generously allowed us to use their course to do it. Um, it will just be me and Dale competing at this stage, although anyone else is welcome to try and join in if they wish, if they're crazy enough to, should I add. And basically we're gonna be starting around about 4.30 in the morning and it means we're gonna to have to work at an average of about 12, 13 minutes per hole to get that completed by 7.30 when we won't have any light anymore. So if you did want to uh, contribute to the cause, um, it is raising money for um, cancer charities um, and I will put a link in the description or by all means, send a, uh, write me a comment and I'll get in touch with you directly and tell you how you can contribute to it. I would really love you to do so. Um, it's a great cause, um, it's one that hits home to, to all of us, there's so many of us that are affected in some way, shape or form by um, this terrible disease, so but the challenge I suppose to, to rise to and, and, uh, and put myself through a fair amount of pain is, is insignificant compared to how it affects those people um, that it does target. So 72 holes, we're working out, it's roughly gonna be about 35 kilometers, something like that that we're gonna to have to walk. And just to add insult to injury, the long range weather forecast is for a 37 degree day. Okay, so as promised now, back to how a golf ball can make you more flexible. Hi guys, Dave from 44 Golf. I want to talk about flexibility, how a golf ball can make you more flexible. It's not just important that in the golf swing we have flexibility, it's imperative that we have flexibility. If we can't get into the right positions to make good contact with the ball and use our bodies in the best way, we're not going to be as efficient and therefore we're not going to hit the ball as far. So I'm going to show you now how we're going to use a golf ball to improve our flexibility. But before we can do that, we need a baseline. So I'm just going to show exactly how far away I am currently at reaching my toes. So, me trying to keep it back as straight as possible, not compromising that, leaning forward, and that is about it. To be perfectly honest, I am not getting much further than there. That's always been the case for me. I'm a big guy and it's difficult. Straight on, going straight down again, keeping back straight closest I'm getting is about there. So you might ask, how is a golf ball going to help us out with that? Basically, we're going to use this golf ball to break down a layer under the skin called the fascia. Underneath, uh, and the, the feet are particularly prone to getting this, but it actually exists over all of the muscles in our body, is a, a layer of material that effectively gets a little bit choked up, a little bit gunked up, and generally just creates a lot of tension that isn't there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place our golf ball on the floor. I'm gonna stand up, you won't be able to see me, but you should be able to hear me. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll that around underneath my foot. Now what that does is that breaks up that material and that gives us a little bit more ability to actually stretch out. So I'll do that just for 20 to 30 seconds. Then change feet. And then we're ready to try again. So, second go again, keeping back straight, just gonna lean forward. And you can see that already now, I am a lot closer to my toes. By no means brilliant, but then I am six foot three, and it is quite an effort to get down to my feet. Going again from the front on, Again, I'm just gonna get myself back nice and straight, coming down, trying to rip a little bit closer, and you see already, I'm a lot closer to my toes. So there you go, a golf ball can help with your flexibility, and if you're more flexible, you're gonna be a better golfer, simple as that. If you did like the video, guys, hit that thumbs up, 
consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have done that, hit that bell icon to get notifications and a free puppy. Perfect. Perfect.